My passion for gymnastics is, it is really fun to me. I, it's not really a sport that a lot of people do. It's kind of unique in its own special way. What I really like is the coaching is way better because they really help you and they push you. They want to see you succeed. When someone joins our facility, joins our team, we really make sure that we accept them. I think the thing that makes this team special is that we really are family. Overall, I think that the general attitude, the general atmosphere of 20 Mile Athletic Center is that we love each other and we care for each other and we're here not just teaching gymnastics, but we're teaching lifelong skills. With 20 Mile, um, it's a lot more than just teaching the gymnastic routines. They teach so much about winning, losing, how to win gracefully as well as lose gracefully. And even when Charlie lost at regionals, he was so excited about his good friend Isaiah winning regionals that that speaks volumes as far as how the coaches teach. So our philosophy at 20 Mile Athletic Center is to provide um, premier gymnastics training for the south suburbs of Denver. Um, we opened 20 Mile Athletic Center in January of 2013. Since we've opened this facility, we've seen our boys and girls program both grow um, to a large number and we feel happy with the, the building that we have and the equipment that we have and we hope that these kids will be able to be with us for a long time. Right now my, sh my most short-term goal is to go to level nine and make it to nationals. And my long-term term goal is to eventually make it to the Olympics. My long-term goal is to go to Ohio State and do gymnastics with my teammate, Jackson. We have quite a bit of athletes who I feel take a leadership role. Oh, there's quite a few. Um, uh, we have Isaiah Escalante, who this year just won state tournament and the regional competition. Um, that's out of four states. Um, also, Charlie Dieringer, he's been with us since it's been Parker School of Gymnastics and has many accomplishments, gold medals under his belt. These kids are being welcome here, and we're not pushing them to the point to where they're getting burnt out of gymnastics. We start them slow, and we really feel that we can be competitive with all the other gyms, even though they may not be coming as as long or as often as some of the other kids are coming per week, and we're able to be competitive with them. We're beating them in competition, and we really have shown that our style of gymnastics can be successful. We're very big with letting our boys know that the harder they work, if they want to put all their dedication and time into one goal, then the possibilities are endless. Um, encourage all of our kids to come in here every day with the best attitudes possible and the hardest working attitudes, because at the end of the day, the hardest workers are the ones that are going to get to the top. I think I work most with JR. I like his coaching style because he knows that it takes me a while to get used to all the new skills and drills for everything. I like Wes's coaching style because he never lets me give up on anything. He always, even if I get really scared, he always makes me get back up and do it again. Even if I'm in tears and I don't really like it, he'll just always make me get back up and do the skill. And I should just do it really well, do it for fun, and have fun with it. We really do want to see these young people develop into fine young adults. So when they come in, we're not just worried about or looking at their gymnastics, we're really looking at the overall picture and how we can help them set lifelong goals. We also want to make sure that we're teaching them that there's other things in life besides sports or gymnastics that's important. So we're really um, specific on pushing them toward being um, academically sound and overall just a good person. It's just meant a lot to our family. It's, it's embraced our family. We didn't know anything about gymnastics before getting Charlie started with it, and now it's our life. And I couldn't imagine our life without gymnastics, without 20 Mile, they are our family. It, it consumes our lives. <laughs> when we don't have something going on here at 20 Mile, uh, we're lost as far as what to do. So it's, it's just, it's wonderful. I couldn't, I couldn't be any happier.